if, for those of you that were here yesterday, basically we we had like a, we were doing a, my company was built all off CPA and affiliate marketing, and that's all we did. And uh, we had software that automated the whole entire process, but we never actually created information around our software, um, teaching people what we do. And we had like the secret sauce that we used inside our software, and you know we held it very close to our chest, you know, not wanting to give it to anyone. And then uh, we showed it to uh, Frank Kern, and he basically said, "This is, you know, this shit is awesome." Basically, those were his exact words. And he goes, you know, "Why don't we market this thing?" And I said, "Yeah, let's do it." So basically, we used a, a pretty, you know, I, I knew about launches at that time. I followed a couple of them. I just didn't know exact steps, and I knew like you had to get JVs and stuff like that. I had already made a couple of free videos. I had a decent sized list, maybe like 10,000 people, um, but nothing really that big. And I've launched like small products before, but again, nothing like massive on, on a really, really big scale. So this is one of the launches that we did that was on a huge, huge scale. Uh, Frank was actually saying, you're not going to beat my record, and his record was like four point something million, and we beat it, we did like 5.1 the first year and the second year we did 3.2 or something like that so collectively we did around 8.6 million dollars most of the sales actually came within 96 hours so about 8 million dollars overall in 96 hours total we kept the card open for about you know seven days usually and then we shut it down but most of the sales come in the first three hours whenever you're doing a launch and then you get another surge at the end so I'm just going to explain to you basic structure of how we, how we did the launch, some of the important things to remember when you're making videos. And not, it's not just about the launch. You can use this in any sequence of videos or any presentation that you're going to do um, for, your, for your customers, basically. And there's a very systematic pattern that you can use to kind of get them into your way of thinking. So first, I'm just going to go over the basic structure of our launch. It was, it was, pretty, it was pretty easy. Um, we had four videos. The standard format for any launch is about four videos. And the first video, um, sorry, the f each video is spaced out about two or three days. You obviously don't want to release videos on weekends. Usually it doesn't work. Fridays are good because then it keeps people like wondering what's going to happen on you know, the following week. So always try to schedule them like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday is always the best time to start or a Tuesday. It actually shows, history shows, internet usage is actually higher. Mondays and Tuesdays than it is for the rest of the week. So that's when you want to get everybody. Um, we usually launch the videos on Monday, Tuesday, like I mentioned before, and also the sales day. The sales day is actually on a Monday or Tuesday. And we do 12 p.m. PST, and that's just always seemed to work for everybody that I know. Everyone launches at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, because on the East Coast, it's 3 p.m. On the West Coast, it's 12 p.m. Over here, it might be middle of the night. But um, most of the world will have it. That's a, that's a good time. Another thing you want to you wanna keep in mind is you want to constantly open and close loops in your videos. Um, it's like a psychology NLP thing. You can open the loop in your first video. And basically, what you're doing is you're giving them information, but you're not giving them like everything, right? So you're saying you can open up loops by saying, hey, um, you know, this is how we market our products, and this is how we do it. And you give them everything but basically 20%. So you give them 80%, hold off on the 20%, and then you close that in the next video. And you follow that sequence all the way to the sales video. The main thing you want to do is take the audience on a journey. That's the most important thing. You want to, it's not about me, it's not about my software, it's about them coming on a journey with me on this path. So again, um, what I call a self-enclosed story is, is it's kind of interesting. So I think I'll just write something over here on this. This works in every, every market. It's not just internet marketing or anything like that. So the self-enclosed story is basically you're giving them all the information that they need to already do what they need to do for the product, right? So if you have like a meditation product, or in our case, it was a CPA and affiliate marketing product. And the CPA affiliate marketing product, what we did was we basically, we gave them all the resources that they needed. So 
So step one was to basically give them all the information that they need to go and do it themselves. So if it's a meditation product, tell them exactly how to go and meditate, exactly what your product does, right? What you're going to do after that is you're going to reinforce that and you're going to talk about that multiple times. And you're going to say like, you know, if you have four videos, you're basically going to give away 80% here. The second video, when you reinforce it, you give away the 20% from the first video you didn't give. And then you go into your next 80%. And then you just repeat this process. And then on sales day, so let's just say, you know, you have your sales video here. When you actually go to launch your sales video, you basically take those three videos that you created and you basically say, hey, I'm going to make your whole entire life easy by putting this whole entire system into a package for you. So basically you give them everything that they need, then you reinforce it, give them more information, reinforce it, and then on sales video say, hey, we just packaged the whole thing for you so you can just buy it. JVs is obviously an important thing. Without JVs, you don't really have a product launch. You have to get other people to help you. So that's really, really important that you get people to help you. And the reason why is because they're going to promote. They're going to push you. And if you can push them to push more, then you're going to make more money. So there's a couple of things to getting relationships. First of all, you have to be cool with them. Um, especially in my world, the internet marketing scene is like you have to be cool. Um, and I think with any business relationship, you're what we call swagger. It's like you're, you know, you're, your swagger is like your, your style and how you talk on the phone and how you talk to people. You really just have to be cool with them. That's the most important thing. It's more important than money. They don't care what the EPCs are. They don't care how much money they're going to make. You really just have to be cool with them. That's it. I was cool with Frank. I was cool with Jeff Johnson, Mike Filsame, all the top guys on my leaderboard, Andy Jenkins, Trey Smith. I didn't really have, like, I didn't tell them they're going to make a ton of money. I was just like, hey, I got this huge launch. It's going to be awesome. You know, take them out for dinner. Things like that. If you concentrate on the top 10 JVs, and you guys you probably see the leaderboards in your industry, look at the leaderboards, see who's been in the top 10 for the last, like, you know, six, seven months, and just email them, talk to them personally, send them something in the mail, just make them feel like they're wanted. Um, manifestation, I write that because I literally attracted the JVs to me. Everyone kind of heard these underground rumblings of how much money I was making and I was like kind of like seeding that out there. So I was making these videos about like how much money I was making and I had this like secret system and all these JVs were actually watching these videos and I didn't really even know that. So they were like, oh my god, this guy is like underground, he's making all these like, he's making all this money, he's doing all these cool things. So I was like preceding all this information to the JVs. So if you think that you can attract these people, you have to figure out what is it that they're looking for and what is it that they're interested in. And you can make these videos, these like seeding videos that they're going to watch, especially if it gets out far enough. And that leads me to my next point, but because I had a history of already being in the game. I was making videos since 2005, just random videos. And if anyone Googled me, they'd see all my videos like on YouTube and things like that. So they knew what I was, I had a history. If you, don't, if you just go in there and say, hey, I have this product and they've never heard of you, it's a good chance they're not going to promote you unless you have someone big behind you. Another thing that helped big time was Frank, which is, you know, he was like the kingpin basically. <laughs> Two years ago, he was the guy that was like the man in the internet marketing industry. He, did, he was doing all the biggest launches. He was behind all the biggest launches. Everyone loved him. If you remember the last three years of, of Frank's history, four years, he wasn't that big four or five years ago. And then all of a sudden he just came out and he's just like, hey, what's up? I'm Frank. You know, so uh, find the top person in your industry and become friends with them and have them support you. The minute you get the top guy in the industry to support you, everyone else will support you. All right, so here's a couple tactics just to keep in mind. Um, these are just some secrets that we kind of put in there, some kind of seeding things that we did. First thing is you're not the hero. You have to remember that. You are not the hero. The actual the audience is the hero. And you have to make, make the audience feel as if they are going on a journey and they're the ones who are actually achieving something, even though you're showing them something about you. The next thing, it's a shared belief. So what that means is, when, you, when you're telling your audience, when you're teaching them and you're giving them all this pre-sales content, you have to make it so that 
you are, they're going on the journey, but you also feel with them. It's a shared belief between both of you. It's not just about you, it's not just about them. We have to say we. And in our case, we used, I always use the word our community. And our community makes me feel like I'm talking about us, not me and not them. It's a shared belief about the system. All right, so tell stories. Everyone knows if you tell stories, it obviously works. That's how you convey any message. Telling stories is huge. Facts don't sell. Emotions do. Facts obviously, you know, they help. Facts obviously fortify the fact that this is actually real. But emotion, emotions is what actually sells. So the more emotional stuff that you can put into your videos, into your pre-sales, into your content, all that stuff is actually going to help you big time. So you want to make sure that you're, you're hitting some kind of emotion to them. I could take you through an exercise for finding out what emotion your target market is, but it's somewhat, it's like a half an hour long, so I'm not going to do it right now. You want to stand out. So the way that we, I stood out in my industry was I was kind of already known in, there's two different worlds. There's the internet marketing world and there's the affiliate marketing world. Both sides of the world want to make money. One is information products and the other side is CPA and affiliate marketing. There wasn't that much, there wasn't that much cross collaboration between the two. In fact, a lot of them hated each other. So I said, how can I bring these two worlds together? Since I was already known in the affiliate marketing world and I was already known in the internet marketing world, I said I'm going to do this launch and I'm going to smack them together. And that's exactly what I did. So I had people like from, I, in the original Magic Bullet system, I had people from Yahoo actually buy the Magic Bullet system. I had people from my CPA networks actually buy the system. And it's kind of crazy that I actually got people from the corporate world and then the internet marketing world and then I combined them and I slapped them together and that's how I stood out. It was the, it was the most craziest thing. So if you can find out two places where your market exists, Figure out how you can smack them together, and that's how you're actually going to stand out. Because now you're hitting both sides of the market, and that's going to create such a huge buzz. Everyone's going to talk about it. I mean, literally, when I was doing the Magic Bullet 1, the whole market came to a standstill. I was getting emails from like my affiliate marketing reps. I was getting emails from like all the places I was buying traffic from. They were watching these videos. Um, be human and stay connected. When I say be human and stay connected, you never want to seem like you're better than them or you're above them. You always want to be completely on the same level as them and you want to stay as connected as you can with them because that's the emotion that's actually going to drive them to believe in you. When you have, you know, how many people did we build on our list? 60,000 people on the first launch. On our first launch, we built a list of 60,000 people probably 59, no, 55,000 of them have never heard of me or they don't care. So you have to be human with them. You have to talk to them. You've got to build that relationship with the audience. Um, again, when you do that, that's part of the same thing as talking to the audience personally. You have to talk to the whole entire audience, your whole entire thing, all the people that you're talking to personally. It has to be a personal message delivered from you to them. And you are the mentor. You have to make sure that you are mentoring the audience and they're looking up to you, but you are the same as them. Um, you have to help the audience get unstuck. The reason why they're going to buy something is because they're stuck in some way, shape, or form. There's a reason why they're watching the video, and that's because they're stuck in some way, shape, or form. They can't figure something out. So you have to take them on this journey, and then you have to figure out how you can get them unstuck. In our case, it was, an, it was an information product and it was a make, make money product. And obviously helping them get unstuck is to show them an opportunity on how they can make money and how they can live the life of their dreams and, and just be, have a job, quit their job basically. That was our goal, to help them get unstuck. And come from a place of humility and be selfless. The reason why is because if you come from a place of humility, where you kind of like make fun of yourself or you say, I'm not as good as you, I'm not as good as everything else, that shows that you're actually human, right? The minute you say, oh, this does this, this does this, I'm the best, all that stuff, they're going to be like, well, this guy, I don't know. Ego and confidence is a certain thing, but if you come from a place of humility, you're actually rising above. 
You have to combine two things, facts and stories. Facts and stories work big time. If I can show you, I'll show you a couple of clips of the videos that we created. I'm going to show you how we actually did that. We built a whole entire story about how I made a launch. And I'm going to go through the launch sequence and how I created this whole entire story, but put facts in there. Okay, so first, obviously, you've got to create the desire in the audience. And the desire is what outcome do they want to achieve? What is it that the end goal is? What is their desire? Their desire is, in my industry, again, was to basically find out how they can quit their job, make money online, and figure out a business that they can run and quit their job. That's the biggest aspect in our industry is how, they, how can they quit their job? And so here's a, here's a little formula that you can use. Um, you want to be the relatable hero. You have to be the hero, and they have to be a hero as well, right? So you have to be that relatable hero that they can take, follow you on this journey. And the best way to do that is basically you create an introduction. And I'll show you again. You, the introduction is basically the unfulfilled desire that they have and how you are the hero and how you're going to take them on this journey and how this journey is going to help change their life. The next thing you want to do is show them the roadblocks. You basically want to show them, yes, there are going to be problems on the way. There are going to be obstacles along the way. There are going to be a lot of issues you're going to, you're going to deal with. And you're going to take them on the, you're going to show them all the problems too. So if, with roadblocks, right, what it does is it, prevent, it presents dramatic action held together by confrontation. So basically, um, I had to show that I had an obstacle for me. In my case, the obstacle was basically, there was two CPA and information products launched before mine. And they were both failures. And every, there was like 45% re return rates. So I had a huge obstacle. I had to overcome this obstacle. And I had to show them, like, look, you might have bought this other product before, but I'm different. And I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Let me show you how I'm different and what I do. And obviously, the last thing is transformation. You want to show them the answer. You want to show them what is going to help transform them and transform their lives. So again, the audience needs to change internally and follow you before they're going to buy anything from you. They need to change on the inside, and they need to believe in you. So once you get that, and you show them these roadblocks, and you show them the obstacles, but you show them the light, they're going to buy it. All right, so at video, in video one, you have to basically get naked. You have to get completely naked in front of the audience. The first video is getting completely naked in front of the audience. And the way we did that was full transparency, 100% transparency. We didn't hide anything from the audience. So what we did was we incorporated something called the wow factor. And the wow factor was, as soon as you saw our first video, the first thing you saw was 14,121.97 cents per day. That was the only slide that we showed. And I said, yes, we really do make 14,121.97 cents a day. And that people were probably like, 14 a, a day? So the next thing, after you wow them, you have to show proof. And the proof was, I actually logged into every single one of my affiliate accounts and every single one of my CPA accounts, every single one of them, and I showed them stats. And I showed them that I actually made all this money, and I logged into every single one, and I showed the, and I showed the date range, and I would show how much the total was. So you have to show the proof. So first you've got to wow them, and then you've got to show the proof. And the next thing, you have to get naked. You have to get completely even more naked. So I actually showed them one of the campaigns I was running right at that time. I showed them something that was real time. Real time works more than anything else. If you can show them something that's working that day, and it's that, or a week before, not like five months or a year before, I showed them something that was working the day before. So when I released a video, people were like, holy shit, this is from yesterday. This isn't like from last year. So when you're fully transparent, and you're in real time, that's when that, that they're like, wow. They get so engulfed and they get sucked in because you're showing them something that's happening right now. So basically, I showed them the exact campaign I was um, running. I showed them the exact ads I was using. I showed them the blogs. I showed them where to even get the campaign. 
I showed them everything that they needed to build this. The one thing I didn't do was show them the actual Magic Bullet system. I showed them, hey, I have this website, I have this ad, and I have these campaigns, and I'm running it on AdWords. So here's my AdWords account. Check this out. I didn't, tell, I didn't mention anything about the system. I just said, here's, you can take this campaign, go and run it. You'll make a bunch of money. Sure enough, the next three days, there was like 40 of these ads. Right? And then here's the open loop. I basically said, I didn't say that there's nothing for sale. I just said, thank you for watching this video, and, I'll, and I hope you enjoyed it. That's it. I didn't say anything else. And basically what that, what that shows them is like, hey, this dude just made a video, and he just showed me how much money he makes, and he gave me one of his campaigns. And I, there's nothing here. What the hell is, what, it leaves them confused. Because you just gave them a money-making tactic. I just gave them something that they can change their life and make a couple thousand bucks a day doing this. Video two is something that I call Dispel the Myth. So basically, the first time after you get, the first video after you get naked, the second thing you want to do is basically dispel the myth. There's always myths in every industry. There's always like, things, something that people don't like, believe or they're weary about or they know maybe it does this thing and everyone thinks it does this thing, but you have to dispel that. You have to get rid of that thought out of their mind. In my case, the previous launches in the market sucked. All the products before me were bad. They were horrible. They're like, they were unorganized. The launches were good. They did a bunch of million dollars, but the refund rates were like 40, 50%. So our biggest hurdle was to figure out how am I going to get these people to buy me? I have to get, I have to get rid of that myth that all CPA and affiliate marketing products are, are scams. I had to get, that was the biggest hurdle for us. It was almost, it was like we had to think of something very, very clever. So basically, if you guys know what the us versus them is, it's basically the us versus them is like, you know, if you guys watch any of Frank's videos, he talks about it a little bit. It's also in a lot of, it's just general um, psychology too. I basically was saying, our community, our community needs to progress beyond this. You've seen all the other stuff. And I used to say, those other guys will just tell you one thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. So it's me versus them. It's us as a community versus those other guys, those other products that you bought. Don't bash anybody. But you just say, those other guys will tell you this, but this is the reality. So what I did to actually get past that was, now that I already gave them a campaign that's making money, I showed them, hey, everything isn't about AdWords. Even though I showed them in the first thing in AdWords, I said, hey, look, I have a $5 million a year company, and AdWords is actually only 20% of the money that we actually make. So let me show you some new traffic sources that you can use right now to make money. And I did this whole presentation. I drew it on a whiteboard. We called it the Traffic Parthenon. And the part, you know what a Parthenon is, it's like one of those, you know, those Greek buildings with the pillars with the triangle on top. And I basically said, look, traffic online is just not about AdWords. There's so many different traffic sources. Then I laid them out and I actually talked about them and logged into some of my accounts and showed them some of these different traffic sources. And people were like, oh my God, I never knew there was a world besides AdWords. You, be, you never take anything for granted when it comes to your market. Because if you think they already know, then trust me, they don't. Another thing we had to do was I had to come out and show myself that I wasn't just like some punk kid showing them how to make money. I had to show them that I was somewhat professional and I had a business and I had a company. And that's exactly what we did in the first video. I said, my company, my business is making this much money. So I had to come across as a professional. And then I had to compare the internet business to a Parthenon. So again, I showed, I showed new and hidden traffic sources. And then what I did was I showed how big companies like 1-800-Flowers, United States Postal Service, which is a government agency, and all these other companies actually use CPA offers and, and uh, affiliate marketing on their own websites. So I actually showed proof. I don't know if you've ever seen it. If you go through 1-800-Flowers or like some of these other websites on the thank you page, it says get $10 back, a rebate offer. A lot of companies have that. And that's actually a CPA affiliate. It's a, it's a CPA offer. So I had to say, look. There's companies just like us, UPS, 1-800-Flowers, all these companies have it already built into their website. So it's not a bad thing. It's not a scam. It's, I had to get beyond that common myth. I had, to get, I had to get rid of that myth in their head. And again, I had to, I had to open up the loop and say, 
there's nothing for there's nothing for sale here. Again, there's nothing for sale here. I'm just letting you know that everything that you've learned before is just wrong, and I just want to show you what's right. Again, being that hero. I had to say something that they didn't tell you. Our community needs something better. They didn't tell you this. Video three, we got the open loop was, you know, at the last video was, I'm going to go into something that they didn't tell you in my next video. It's a secret. There's a reason how all the big guys in the marketplace are, going to, are making money. All the big guys who are making money with affiliate marketing and CPA products have a secret. There's something that they aren't telling you. That was in video two. So in video, people are probably like, oh my god, what aren't they telling me? You just told me so much. So in video three, now I, now I have to get and show them what they didn't tell you. So again, I used um, the us versus them. The first thing, this is a little out of order actually. The first thing I showed them was actually this, the bonus. And that was basically during, those, during that week that we launched the first video and the second video, I optimized the campaign, actually doubled the profits. So I basically went in and showed them that all I did was make these minor changes to my campaigns and I showed them a couple things that I changed on the landing page and I doubled my profits. So I went back to video one, closing that loop, saying, hey, I doubled my profits. This is something you can do immediately in your campaigns to start doubling your profits. Use a button that looks like this. Use this, put your, put your offer over here. Use a text link for your offer. It's like some of these small little tricks that we had to teach them. So I showed them exactly how I doubled my campaign and this, was, this is where, I, where I, I showed them, look, if I was to take how much I'm making every single day and multiply it over a year, over 50 weeks, it would be over $100,000 a year. And 100, over $100,000 a year is pretty much a job killer for most people. Most people will quit their jobs for $100,000 a year. And that was our goal. Not to quit their jobs, but to make $100,000 a year. But that's in their mind. They're thinking, I want to quit my job. This is going to help me quit my job. And so then I said, look, the thing that they're not telling you, for you to quit your job, there's something that these companies, these, these guys who are releasing these products, they, there's always a they, there's always someone that they think in their mind, like, oh my God, this guy just screwed me. Or I bought this product and it sucks. I bought this ebook and it sucked. They always have that they in their mind. You have to say, there's something that they didn't tell you. And what they didn't tell you was that everyone, the guys who are making real money in affiliate marketing, have automation and tools. There's something deeper than that. They have automation and tools. And that's what they're not telling you. So basically, I showed them everything that we were doing internally. So now this is when I took that $100,000 a day and I showed them, Look, there's something that I have to tell you. I have to tell you this. The big guys are using automation and they're using tools. So the tools are what makes us the money. So then I logged into the Magic Bolt system and I got completely naked, right? I showed them behind the scenes of the software. I showed them every single step of the way. I showed them exactly the software that we built internally, step by step. And this is what I was gonna sell them. I didn't say it was for sale. I just said, look, this is what we use internally. You have to automate your tasks. You have to build tools. If you don't do that, then you're not going to make, you're not going to be able to do this. Speed is the most important thing. So I basically said, you know, we've spent three years and $250,000 investing into this technology. I showed the software exactly how it works, and I showed them how I can launch a campaign in 15 minutes. And I don't need anything else. 15 minutes, I can launch a campaign. And at the end of the video, I basically said, look, yes, there is something for sale. Being completely open, yes, there is something for sale. And maybe we'll let you know in a couple of days. We'll, whenever, when, we'll let you know in the next video. We don't know when it's going to be, but we'll let you know about it. Again, this is just about being cool, giving them as much information as you can. At this point, people can just go and run the campaign. They don't have to buy my software anymore. I taught them exactly everything that I needed, what I was talking about. I gave them everything that they needed, but I reinforced it in every video. I gave them everything that they needed. They didn't need my software anymore. Right, so I was just being cool and saying, look, this is what you need in your life. If you don't have a system, I'm gonna show you how in the next video. And that whole video was one big open loop because I showed them how to do everything manually, then I showed them inside our software, and I said, look, this is what you need in your life. And then that leads to the, basically the sales video. 
which is the transformation. This is when they're going to transform and they're going to turn into someone else. This is what's going to help them quit their job and make $100,000 a year. So the first thing you want to do is trance your prospects. You want to put them in a trance in your sales videos. And you do that. In our, in our market, we basically have to do a pattern interrupt. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you something in a second. So who remembers the whole like, uh, FTC cracking down on the whole entire marketplace like two years? It was huge. It was massive. So the FTC came and cracked down on everything. You had to put disc affiliate disclaimers. You had to put disclaimers on all your websites. It was big. They were just knocking down people left and right. So it was, it was actually a very, very important subject at the time. Um, and another really important subject, when I talked about real time, this is going back to that real time factor. When we released our first video, it was right two weeks after the Google slap happened, like the big one, the really big one about two or three years ago. So I said, look, you guys can't advertise on AdWords. Everyone's complaining that their accounts are shut down. I'm still running mine. I'm still making money with mine. Here's how you do it. So the real timeness is hugely important. If you can use things in the news and use all that stuff, it's huge, huge, huge. It has to be real time. So this video, we had to, we had to, we had to put disclaimers for the FTC. So we wanted to do something that was so erratic that would completely pattern interrupt the whole entire thing. The whole entire launch so far, we just wanted to change everything. So that was, the, that was the beginning of the sales video. And the reason why we needed to do that was, number one, to be real time and show them that we're cool. We're on your side, even though the FTC is saying this stuff. At the same time, we're covering our ass, because the typical results are going to be zero. We're just telling them straight up, you don't have to buy this thing. Your results might be zero. But the real timeness of it was so dead on that everyone was like, wow, like these guys are being completely true. We completely disrupted the whole entire pattern with like, you know, the Star Spangled Banner. I mean. <laughs> And then like all the weird video with the, you know, the, the fuzziness and all that stuff. So we had to completely change the whole entire pattern of their thinking. So after we did that, I can show you some of the video. It's a little long. I'm just going to go through some of the, the next thing. After we did the pattern interrupt, we basically got right into the sales pitch. The, the whole sales pitch is it does it for you. That's the whole thing that we want to talk about because automation was the most important thing. If I can launch one, two, three campaigns a day and I don't have to build a website, and I don't have to do any AdWords campaigns, and I don't have to do any of the optimization, we're making their life a thousand times easier. So the people that didn't even know what any of this was, I can show them exactly how they can use our system. And within 10, 15 minutes, they'll have a website, they'll have an offer, they'll have the AdWords campaigns ready to go. So everything was benefit, benefit, benefit. It does it for you. It builds it for you. It's friendly for you. It creates it for you. It optimizes it for you. And it's automated. Everything is push button simple. You just click a button and you do your research. You click the next. It's literally that easy. So we showed them this whole entire process. It does it for you. Everyone, no one wants to do work. Nobody really wants to do work. It's the truth, right? So we have to show them that, yes, there's a little bit of work involved. But instead of spending four hours building a website, putting graphics, finding an offer, putting it into your thing, setting up your tracking, five to six offers, five to six hours per campaign, we could do it in 20 minutes. Then the next thing you want to do in your video is give them something they can't normally get as a bonus. One of the other biggest things our market had a problem with was that they couldn't get accepted to CPA and affiliate networks. There's, a very, there's like a process you have to go through to get accepted. There's an approval process. So our marketplace, a lot of newbies, a lot of the CPA affiliate marketing companies 
don't accept newbies. They just don't because they know that they're just going to call the affiliate manager and be like, what do I do? What, how do I advertise? And they don't want to deal with people like that. So what we did was we had our own affiliate network and we said, you're automatically approved. So you already have offers to run as soon as you buy the program. And then we gave them things like, okay, you get, a free, uh, you get free bonus training sessions. You get this. The first 100 people to buy get that. The first 300 people to buy get this. So you create this bonus structure that they've never seen before, that they can't get. Create anticipation in them for something that if they act now, they're going to get something that other people won't. All right, questions. Um, whenever you do a launch video, you have a set of three videos, and then you have comments in each and every single one. You make sure you go through all of those. So when you release video one, you'll see people like, oh, I don't know, this is bullshit. I don't know, how do I get accepted to affiliate networks? We were, we were going through all these comments and making a list of them. And in the sales video, we got rid of all those myths and say, okay, if you have a problem with this, this is the answer. If you have a problem with this, this is the answer. So you get rid of all the concerns that people have. And then you basically tell them how it's going to work. You explain how the system works, what they get, and you go benefit, benefit, benefit again. Then you explain the guarantee. There's always a guarantee in all the sales videos. 30 days, 60 days, don't worry, get your money back. No questions asked. You tell them, don't worry about it, it's okay. If you don't, if you don't like it, your money will be fully returned. And then you do a quick recap of the main benefits. Um, the main benefits are basically, you know, the life changing, the emotions, and then the main benefits. It does X, Y, Z. And then you just basically tell them to take action. What's next? Take action. Buy it now. These are the bonuses you're going to get. And then there's the guarantee again. So remember I was telling you I was showing them all the stats. So I was actually logging into my accounts and showing them the actual stats from my account. So I would literally log into all my stats. Which is right around $822,000. And I was just literally just showing them the stats that I was making. So if I forward a little bit, then I show them my AdWords account, like I said. And I was going through my whole entire campaign for them, literally showing them everything inside and out. So this is 10.23 in the morning, and we're, we're getting ready to blast it, blast the video. Hey, Rana, are those early bird links ready? Yeah, this, uh, yeah. It's, it's 10.23. All right, let's get it out. I just wrote this comment. We only had 11,000 people on the early bird list. So the day bef two days before the launch, when we emailed the third video, we said sign up for the early bird list if you're interested in getting, you know, when we, when we release the video, if you're interested in getting it. People on the early bird list waiting for this thing. So this is going to go to those guys right now. And so we click send. Five minutes ago, in five minutes, we made $77,000 in cash. So not not actual sales. We probably did around $200,000 in sales. So it's five minutes after we mailed. So we did 262 sales times $3,000, around 700 grand in sales in the first like half an hour now. Keep in mind, this is before we even opened the doors. This is only for the early bird people. So we didn't even open the doors to the public yet. This is only for the people who actually got opted into the early bird list. So 11.46 in the morning, we, we released the, the early bird list at 10.15. It's 11.46, so it's been about an hour and a half. And we had $800,000 in cash. And we had, how many orders? 600 orders. So 600 times 3,000, I don't even know, was that $1.8 million or something like that? In the first hour and a half, we made $800,000 cash. What we, were, what we were trying to do was we were trying to hit a million dollars before we actually even opened the real doors to the, to the software. $979,000, dollars nine, 440 At 11.59 a.m., we were that far away from a million dollars. 12.05 p.m., within two hours and five minutes, we crossed up that million dollars in cash. Four, oh, man, what happened? What oh, happened? Oh, boy, I should have woke up four minutes early, ah, man. That's yeah. the word. There it is. A million collected, four minutes in the launch. Wow. That is awesome. Uh, 
Where are the poppers, man? So what he's telling me now, he's like, now that you already did like, you know, four million dollars in sales, you have to deliver it to your customers. Because over the next seven days, as soon as they buy a product, is the most important time that you can have after you sell the product. The seven days after, you gotta make sure you're on their ass. You have to make sure that you pump them up, get them excited, you get them happy about everything that's going on. In five minutes, we're making $10,000 every minute, basically, if not more. This is the most ridiculous time ever. And that's, that's basically, when, when we use this sales video, we know that the sales video was so good that made people want to buy. We actually used the same exact formula that I just showed you for the second launch. The videos were different, but I used the same formula by showing them campaigns, showing them more traffic sources in the third video, showing them how we increased our campaigns, the same exact formula. And we used the same sales video. We didn't even have Frank on our team or anything this time. And we did another $3.2 million the year after. So um, this, this, this algorithm basically works. And using the things that I just taught you, even in your own market, will definitely prove to be beneficial, whoever's on the launch team. And using the traffic and you know, getting the JVs and stuff is, is awesome. If you guys want a copy of this video, I can show that, because we kind of recap a lot of the video, too. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So that's the whole launch kind of sequence and how we made that you know, $9 million in like 96 hours.